Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope you are very, very well. And if you are new here, welcome to the channel. Today, we're watching the next episode of Classic Doctor Who. And I am loving it so far. Although in the last one, Ian completely forgot the little liquid thing that is from the TARDIS. And now they've got to go back down and find it. And uh, yeah, it was just as they were about to escape, as in just about to get back in the TARDIS and escape the planet, which apparently is Scaro. Yeah, interested to see where it's going to go. Let's get on and let's watch this episode. I hope you're all doing really well today. And if you'd like to check out the full reactions, to this, you can check it out over on the Patreon page as well. Join me! Fluid link. How's it? The fluid link. You forgot. It must be down there somewhere. The expedition to find the fluid link. Gotta love the sets that they used. I love it. I've said this before and I'll say it again. That's a Dalek. Hello, Dalek. The glide that they have over the floor. The drug has been duplicated. Oh no. The drug is to be taken by sections of us, so work will not be interrupted. So I think they can only get off the planet if they take this drug, because they're trapped in the planet at the moment. Or are trapped in that city at the moment, should I say. It is the Elder Prisoner. Oh, it's the Doctor. <coughs> Susan. The girl and the young woman. Is that the body of the fourth prisoner? Was the it? young man. If so, he has been injured. Is he in okay? They have made contact with the Thal. Yeah. It is logical that together they will attack us. Be careful what you're doing up there, Susan. Oh, it's all right, Mr. Jackson. I'm quite safe. I've tried everything I know. They just won't risk a fight with the Daleks. What is she doing? What is... Is she trying to look over? Why should they help us? Some of them are bound to get killed. What argument can you use to make a man sacrifice himself for you? We'll be prisoners here unless we can think of some way of getting that fluid link back from yeah. the Daleks. I am quite well aware of that, and you Barbara. you know very well they'll find a way out of their city. Well, they need metal to travel on. It's like a little family. It's like the mum and the dad, the daughter, who's Susan, and then the, I say the grandpa, like the granddad, the doctor. Any luck, grandfather? And I've really discovered we do need some mercury. Oh, so they actually do need mercury. I'm afraid my little trick has rather rebounded on me. <laughs> yeah. What you might call tempting providence, Chessiman. Did he just call him Chessiman? Yes, but at least you're not vindictive. Well, I will be if you don't get my name right. Yeah. Hmm? It's Chesterton. Yes. Eh? But I know that. You always think of something, Grandfather. Thank you, my dear. Your faith in me is something that I prize very highly. You all realise, of course, we cannot succeed against the Daleks alone. No, 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 no. We have a ready-made army here, yes. the Thals. They're strong and they have one great advantage against the Daleks. They can move so much more quickly. They have yeah, one they great don't... disadvantage. They yeah. have no arms or ammunition. And they don't want to cause violence. The Thals won't fight. They're against war. There we go. Yes, they won't. War. My dear child, this is no time for morals. They must fight for us. Why? No, oh, my dear young lad. I do hope you're not going to be difficult. The doctor's right. But the Doctor doesn't like violence or fighting. I will not allow you to use the Thals to fight for us. Are you challenging me? Yes, I am. Do I have any say in this? <laughs> doctor's right and I want to get out of here. I am sorry, I'm not having anyone's death on my conscience. It's like a married couple. The only way the Thals can fight is if they themselves want to. Yep. It must have nothing whatsoever to do with us. We must help the Thals to save themselves, not just them help us. Exactly. All you're doing is playing with words. We need action, not arguments. But... They do also need to make everyone realise at the same time. Are they cowards? Or are they just against fighting on principle? Well, how can we find out? Well, I've got an idea. But whatever I do, don't interfere. What is he going to do? Let's see what happens. Cause an argument or...? Strange young man. That's right. Let's see what he's up to. <laughs> see what trouble he's getting into. And you wouldn't lift a finger to help yourselves. We will not fight. There will be no more wars. Yeah, that's why. It's on purpose. This was once a great world, full of ideas and art and invention. In one day, it was destroyed. Damn. 
One day. And you will never find one good reason why we should ever begin destroying everything again. You stand here mumbling a lot of words out of your history, but it means nothing. You carry this around with you. Your history records. Oh, he's going to throw it or something, isn't he? Supposing I take it down to the city and try and trade with the Daleks, eh? It's doing it on purpose, I know. Perhaps they'd think it valuable enough to exchange for our fluid link. I don't believe you'd do it. I would. None of us would stop you. He's probably going to do it. He's, I know Ian doesn't want to, but he's trying to prove a point. But... If I don't get the fluid link back, the four of us will die. Perhaps the Daleks are more interested in people. Maybe they were holding us to experiment on us. I could take them an alternative. No. Hey, he proved a point. He, he, he got him to do it. Yep. So there is something you'll fight for. Yep, for love. And the love of the planet. You need to fight. Well, not so much fight, but you need to figure out what you're doing. What on earth? Cannot control. What? Help me. The, like the Daleks having a nightmare. Help. Help. Oh, is it the drug? Is it backfiring? I love it. Emergency! Emergency! <laughs> All Daleks in Section 3 are incapable of working! It was that? Ah! That was the first section to get the anti-radiation drug. drug. Yeah, it doesn't work on Daleks. All distribution of the anti-radiation drug is to be stopped immediately. The Dalek race has become conditioned to radiation. But if you are right, we are in danger. All Daleks in Section 3 are dying. Oh, they're dying? I thought they were just going a bit do lally dot from the drug. The disease has reached us in here. But what are we to do? <laughs> Is this the end of the Daleks? Be with us next week, same time, same station, when we again take you into outer space. See you next week. Same bad time, same bad station. <laughs> we need radiation to survive, so we must increase our supply of radiation. But there is only one way to do that. Now. Exactly. We may have to explode another neutron bomb. I did think that, but I was thinking, well, the Daleks wouldn't have a neutron bomb, or, you know, a bomb in general. A nuclear bomb. Are you angry with yourself for striking the young man? I knew he was trying to make me do it, but I still couldn't stop myself. Yeah, because anger for love. Do you despise me for hitting him? If you hadn't fought him, I think I would have hated you. Oh. I knew he wouldn't really take you and give you to the Daleks, but I fought him. Which is the most important, to, to, to fight and live, or to die without fighting? In this instance, I would probably say either fight and live, or just try to trick the Daleks to do something. Aww. I thought he was going to give it to her as a coat, as like to put around her, but no. He never decides anything without our full approval. And if Aladdin decides not to help us? Then... So be it. Well, we'll have to wait till the morning. What's that light in the sky? It's a reflection from the city, I suppose. No, the lake. Some sort of chemical in the water that makes it glow in the moonlight. You've been down there? Oh. Ah. There's horror down there in a swamp. But what was it? What happened to the others? Well, we found what was left of one of them. Mm -hmm. The lake is alive with mutations, bred and crossbred until the original has long been replaced by... So, the Daleks were right. They're mutations. Sorry, I'm being morbid. I don't mind as long as we're this far away. Yeah. But I wonder the Daleks haven't cleaned it out. They were afraid? Isn't it the perfect defense for the back of a city? Only a fool would attack the city from the lake. Which is what they're going to do. <laughs> At the anti-radiation drug distribution being stopped. I love that they've done that. It's just a camera looking through a hole with a plunger. All Daleks in Section 3 have now Oh, that was a strong drug. Daleks in Section 2 are to be brought to the Sonic... Screwdriver. ...to the Sonic Chamber. So that's it. What are they going to do? We Give will them... direct the air polluted by radiation right. away from the nuclear reactors into the Sonic Chamber. That makes sense. And if they do not die, 
we shall have our answer. But if we need radiation, we can never rebuild the world outside. We do not have to adapt to the environment. We will change the environment to suit us. And they just cause mass destruction by dropping nuclear bombs everywhere. If we do not help you, what will you do? Tell the Daleks. And find our way into the city and take yeah. back our lost equipment. If we do not help them, it would be the same as if we had them ourselves. The Daleks are strong and they hate us. And I'm sure they will find a way to come out of their city and kill us. In the city is enough food for all of us and all of the Daleks a hundred times over. Mm -hmm. yep. My conclusion is this. There is no indignity in being afraid to die. But there is a terrible shame in being afraid to live. If none of you agree with my reasons, then let me go with these people, and I will help you elect a new chief. He's got a point, but I, just, I don't feel like they should be violent. They should do some trickery for the Daleks. Face them towards each other, get them to <laughs> each other or something. I'll go with you, Aladdin. And I. Let's start at once. And I. If we get this intelligent anticipation, we shall succeed. Let's see this. Is this their plan? Yeah. I've been into the swamp. It's surrounded by lakes here, do you see? The lakes are inhabited by all sorts of strange creatures. Can we get into the city this way? Over the mountain? Yes, that means going through that swamp. We can't go through the swamp, it's too dangerous. It is dangerous, yes, but I realized last night when I was talking to Barbara that it is undefended. Undefended? It's a perfect natural barrier. All those creatures, you know that yourself. Yes, I know, but I mean the Daleks won't be on guard there. They could get, the, they could get those mutations to help them. There's a chance to take them by surprise. Make them escape. Well now, I suggest we split into two groups. The one to distract the Daleks on the city wall side, and the others to try and force a way through the mountains. Yes, I think that's the best plan. Are we all agreed? Yes. Oh, that was a cool shot. Why divide their forces? The figures are coming through of the radiation treatment. An old radio with a hole cut in it. Love it. All Daleks in Section 2 have shown signs of recovery. Oh, they have. Radiation helps. And radiation is yeah, still helps, necessary yeah. to us. Essential. They're going to drop a bomb now or something. That's what they said about. What makes you think it'll be any different to the first time? At least we know what to expect. But the others don't. We're going on, Antidus. You keep your fears to yourself. I don't want you upsetting the others. Is that clear? Yes. Well, is it? Yes! From now on, it's going to be rather uncomfortable. Yes. I see what you mean. The ground's very uneven. Sometimes rock, sometimes thick mud. You'll have to watch how you walk. I think it'd be a wise plan to find a place to rest for the night. It's going to be taking four hours to get here from the edge of the forest. Blimey, uh, four hours? How are you doing? Fine. We're going through there? Well, we must. We got a deadline with the doctor in two and a half days, and we've got to make it. I was say, so they're going through the swamp. Watch out for the swamp monsters. They're going to go sploosh, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, they, they, they could have just gone round the plant the other way, but I'm liking the, the set, though, that they've made for it. This will do. Right, we'll make camp here. Barbara, if you see to the food, I'll get the fire going. Oh, we and be careful. We don't know what's in that. He's using swamp water to wash his face? No, thank you. What was that? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, God, what is that? I thought it was underneath, but then I saw the eyes. Yes, it was. A Christus, stand guard here, will you? Right. Oh, it's like a, an octopus or something, but different. I'm all right, really. I yes, I know, but I think you two Earth people should get as much sleep as possible. I wouldn't want to sleep. It's over a year since we left our own plateau in search of a new source of food. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to stay in one place and enjoy it. I'm going to lay on Barbara's legs now. Look out, man! Something's going to get you. Time to move, my friend. Come and see what I found by the lake. Oh god, what have right. they found now? Hold on, I'll come with you. More mutations, maybe? Or... Oh. Did you sleep well, my love? We were right. The Daleks do get their water from the lake. I like that shot. I mean, the Daleks aren't very mobile. The left of it, I think, is a miniature. 
If we could cross the lake, we could reach it much I'm quicker. sorry, that one way I'm not going. Well, it would be dangerous, certainly. The lake is full of mutations. No, we must go around. Right. Well, I'll just go and fill the water bags. He's gonna plan something. What are you saying? And there's no point in trying to cross the lake, you think? No. No, he's right. Anyway, think how long it would take to build a raft. Barbara? We saw some pipes going into the lake. So we can go through. Well, maybe, with a bit of luck, eh? I like the fact that you saw the other side of the tree and there was like a cliff-looking thing, but then when you saw it from other areas, they weren't there. Oh, God, well, he's not going to come back alive, is he? Ah! Something there. Careful. Oh, that is cool. Look what's pulling him in. Stay here. Interesting. So they're going to be travelling to the city through the swamp area and they've got to get past these mutations and through the swamp itself. And it's going to take, uh, they said a couple of days um, and that they travelled four hours already from that thing. I feel like more went on in that episode than in the previous episodes in some ways, but at the same time, almost less happened, if that makes sense. It's interesting where they decided to go with this, with the Thals not wanting to um, be violent and Ian and the team have managed to get them around to thinking we should probably protect our our kind and protect the planet in some ways uh, so that the Daleks don't take over. I'm assuming that at the end of all of this, the Thals are probably killed off because I've not heard of them being mentioned in the future episodes unless they just kind of forgot about them because they always mention Scaro and... Uh, like planet Scaro being the home of the Daleks, etc. But that's it. Unless, it, of course, maybe this isn't Scaro. Maybe that isn't Scaro. It's really interesting anyway. I love the sets that they always build on these things. Um, and they're so intricately made. Like the floor was awesome. You know, the, the floor of the swamp with the mist coming up, with which is probably dry ice. And the monster was awesome as well. The octopus looking thing that sort of rose up and had brightly lit eyes. That was great. The whirlpool at the end, really well done. I also love the use of effects as well, where you see the, the half shot with what looks like a, a cliff in the background. That was really well put together. Yeah, so that there was the expedition. Next time, we're going to watch episode 10, which will be part five of the Dalek storyline. Join me next time when we watch the ordeal, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, guys. Stay safe. And don't forget, you can watch the full reaction to this over on the Patreon account as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, stay safe, guys, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.